Out of the Rough, I'm Fred Arnold. I'm joined by my good friend David Gunther. David Gunther is the entrepreneur and uh, of J. David's Custom Clothiers, in a place where I get all my clothes um, uh, made and, and, and uh, fit to, uh, to my body. And since everybody has such different body structures, how they look every day is so important, isn't it? Uh, it makes a huge difference. Uh, and you can really tell, I always tell people why, should, you know, they ask why they should have things custom made. You can tell if you see two or three guys walking down the street and one guy just looks so good in his clothes, it's still a suit. There's just something different about it. So it's the fabric, the fit, it's all, it's all those, that's what we and do. And we're all different sizes, different, you know, taller, shorter, uh, it, and, and that's what's so critical. It's hard to buy something, for, especially for me, I'm a little bit of a thin, thin guy, buy something off the rack, that's why I have you, you, you know, construct my clothes and, and make my clothes. Now, I, I know you have some samples just briefly, but it, you can really pick whatever you want, well, can't you? Can, you can, uh, you know, for people that don't know what's involved in doing it. Uh, as For example, like with Fred's suits, you can come in instead of only looking at suits that are on the rack, uh, you can go through this way and you can just pick your fabric and say, oh, I really want, uh, really want that one, the gray with the lavender stripe. We take about 30 different measurements and make the suit for you. So yeah. it's, an, it's a nice way to go. So. And one last thing I'll mention is I, I am a sucker for shirts. I love long sleeve shirts for business, and I have them made, custom made. And the great thing is if I you know, gain a little bit of weight or I get a little more muscle or what, whatever it is, I can, I can really have it adjusted. And when the collars wear out, I just get new ones. And so it's a great way to Makes have that easy. fresh look. Definitely. So, but I wanted to have you on today and talk about uh, your good friend uh, David David Stroud. He became a friend. Yes. Um, tell us uh, a little bit about uh, your illness um, several years ago. I think almost a decade well, mine, ago. Well, wasn't mine it? was uh, February twenty fifth of two thousand eight. Uh, I woke up that morning and suffered a brain aneurysm uh, that burst. And normally it's fatal uh, immediately, and for whatever reason I survived. And I've had 35 hours of brain surgery down at UCLA, but they put me back together and I am as good as new. Yeah, and you're healthy. And, totally. and, and during that journey, um, you met uh, a young man from the Santa Clarita Valley, a star basketball player at Valencia sure. High School. Well, he was actually, I had, I had known him before because his dad, uh, Dan, has been a client slash friend you know, who became a friend over the years. Uh, he's the CFO of Nestle and just the nicest family. And so David, I had met a couple times before uh, he You know, as a young man, right? Yeah, but we actually ended up going through our illness at the same time. And so because of that, whenever Dan would come in the store or Jackie, Dan's wife, and David's mom would come in the store, and of course the first topic always was, how's David, how's David? So and David, was, was it cancer that uh, he was diagnosed with? He, he was a basketball player at Valencia High School, and after practice uh, during a week, he was very lethargic, and he was six foot five with an eight pack, the epitome of health uh, as a 17 year old kid. And they took him to the doctor thinking maybe he had mono or something, and he was diagnosed with uh, non Hodgkin's lymphoma, yeah. which is leukemia. Yeah. And, uh, and he fought a heck of a battle. And the inspiration um, of, of your new clothing line, and we'll get to that. Yes. Um, you, you met and you started having some dialogue with him and what his dreams and aspirations were if he were uh, to recover. It was the most, uh, really, uh, this whole thing, even though it is around a very sad story uh, in and of itself, uh, is probably one of the neatest things I've ever done in my life or had happened. Uh, we had built a friendship through being sick and I started visiting him in the, the hospital. And, uh, and one day, he was a big, big, huge basketball fan, of course, and Blake Griffin, who plays for the Clippers, is one of our clients. And I called Blake as David was getting very ill. I uh, called Blake and asked if he would go to Children's Hospital uh, with me to visit David just to uplift his spirits. And Blake, uh, I just remember so vividly, he was in Oklahoma and he, and he uh, sent me a text back and said, well, I'm in Oklahoma now, but I'll be back tomorrow. How about we meet at Children's Hospital tomorrow? And so we did. Mm -hmm. And to just jump right into the story of this, uh, how this clothing line started uh, in David's honor, is uh, that day when Blake Griffin and I were at the hospital in Los Angeles, as we left, David, David's big thing was always that he would give you a hug. And when he would give you a hug, you knew that he meant it. Mm -hmm. And he was so genuine. And he had a special personal message for everybody that he gave hugs to. And he hugged me, and when he did, he, he said, I just don't want to be forgotten. And so two days later, uh, if you don't mind if I just roll right into that story. Uh, two days later, I was driving home on the freeway and I came up with this idea of a clothing line that I could do in his honor because he loved to dress. Mm -hmm. And his basketball number for Valencia High School was 25. 
and I have the complete chronology of our texts back and forth. While I was sitting on the side of the freeway, I just texted him, David, what's your favorite color? Uh, I'll tell you later why. And then I thought, well, gosh, I don't even know if he's alive. There is no later. Let me just tell you now why. I asked him what his favorite color was, and he texted me right back, lime green. Mm -hmm. And I have the whole text from there on out where I told him what my idea was to come up with a clothing line in his honor called 25 by J. Davids. Uh, the 25 is always lime green on everything we do, and uh, it's just, it's the neatest thing I've ever done in my whole life. I was, uh, I was in Hawaii with my family this past January. Yes. And some gentleman stopped me because I was wearing, I was wearing uh, the hat of uh, David's hat in, in his honor, and someone said, my, my initial is Jay and my, my middle name's David. Tell me more about it. And I started telling him the story, uh, in, in the story as I know it, mm -hmm. uh, of, of David Stroud. And, and, and I know it through you. Sure. And they were so inspired and said, how can, I get, how can I get that hat or how can I get part of the clothing line? And I, so you're creating a website uh, in honor sure. of David on where, where people can buy, buy products in honor of, of David Stroud. Sure. Well, in, uh, in about a week, on our website, which is just uh, jdavids.com, mm -hmm. it will have a link right on there with, a lime, of course, a lime green 25. Right. You'll click on the lime green 25 and it'll take you to a page that has photos from people. Mm -hmm. What I want is for people literally to wear these hats around the world and take photos of themselves on the mm -hmm. Great Wall of China. I already have photos from people in Vietnam. I have people on cruise ships in the Mediterranean. Hawaii? You know, Fred Arnold from Hawaii, which, by the way, was one, I have to just say for everybody watching, one of the most gorgeous photos of this hat that I think will ever come in with uh, the 25 by J. David's hat on the sand, on the beach, with the, sun, with the sunset behind it, and it's just like rays coming off this hat. It's like I could picture David being there. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you from heaven for sure, uh, he is so proud of what we're doing uh, yeah. for him. And uh, to get to the website? Uh, just jdavids.com. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing it. I, I know sure. we wanted to get you in here to share this story. And um, being involved with some of the fallen soldiers' families in the valley, um, the one thing they want is they don't want their child forgotten. Absolutely. And um, and so hopefully we can do that for David and, and, and maybe just mend a little bit of the hole in their heart. That That um, is it. And I just very, very quickly, one thing that makes this so dear to me is that uh, David's family, uh, Dan and Jackie and then his sister Rachel, uh, those three picked out everything about these. They picked out the logos, they picked out the font, they picked out our labels. Uh, they picked everything that David would have picked yeah. and it was important to do that. Thank you very much. Okay, absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Well, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Out of the Rough. If you'd like to watch this online, go to scvtv.com or fredarnold.com. If you have questions or some recommendations of some great guests or stories, inspirational stories, email me, fred at fredarnold.com. I hope this information helps get you out of the rough and into success and inspires you to have a better tomorrow. Until we talk again, make it a great day.